Hello, you fucking wolf. Yeah! Ah, glorious morning. Oh, it's pretty out. Oh, big fat butterfly butt. Big fat butterfly butt. Oh, it's so fuzzy. Look at the big fat butterfly butt. Oh, look at them. Look at this adorable little cheese ball. Oh, you're my friend. You're my love. You're my awesome. Oh, I went to bet you would scratch you. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's so cute. Yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Garrett Oak Amber, and I have knocked myself out. Cute little butterfly. Fortunately, he has dusted himself. There we go. Which is a problem because if they dust themselves, they can. Oh, fuck you. Up. Justice. Get ourselves a little butterfly, because I already have one. And they are basically the paradigms of the game. They're adorable, and I love them. They're like the greatest thing. Just literally, they are the greatest thing they've added to this. <laughs> I mean, I know they've got the wyverns, but this is pretty cool. Come on, you have to admit, you want a butterfly too. Giant fucking butterfly. They're so cool. Um, I have to be careful because there are Titan Boa around here. And when I knock this little guy out, I have knocked him out just above this rock. And I'm just hoping, hoping that uh, Titan Boa. little bit concerned. We have a thorny devil over there, it looks like. And they're not they're not aggressive by default, but they are highly territorial. So that's bad. Because uh, if we piss him off, he'll come for us. Which is not good. It's not ideal. eating. Well, this is what happens. You go to tame something and some asshole just slithers along and tries to eat you. And it ate the butterfly, so that was unfortunate. I was checking my inventory, being like, oh, dum -da dum dum and then this motherfucker comes over. Hello, that's a wolf, that's a wolf, that's a wolf, that's a wolf. Run away. Run away for your life. There's another. Ooh, that's a pretty one. I like you. I like you. I like you lots. Eh. Eh. Alright, come here, you little beauty. Gotcha. I'm sorry. Ah. Oh, on my toper. Oh. Why? Why you do this to me? Um, I need my sling shot. I'm gonna knock your ass out. I'm sorry. You know what had to be done? Stop pooping! No! <laughs> Motherfucker! You piece of shit! Come back! I love you! I came back and I knocked me out a terror bird. Unfortunately, I don't much need a terror bird right now. Um, hmm. I don't even know if I want a terror bird right now. The fuck, do I have all these for? Do I even? Do I even want one? I mean, I could tame it, but it's a level five, so I think I'll kill it. I mean, it's a good animal. Don't get me wrong. I just don't feel it's uh, gonna be worth my time. It's just, they, 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 you know, there's no guarantee I'm going to tame it in this horrible area here. Everything's trying to eat me. And this goddamn bird is here. When there's one, there's always another. So even if I tried taming, it's probably going to be eaten. There we go. One more shot at this. Well, for now. Fuck you. Hi. Go to fucking sleep. I love you. I want you for my own. 
I need an army of you. You're so cute. Yes, give me your poopy. Uh, let's put this and this. And um, we don't have a lot of berries. We have a problem here. Hopefully nothing will try to eat us or it. Because I am sick and tired of knocking these little bastards out. You think I've only done this once, but I've actually done it a few times now. And it's pissing me off. Another thing is too, their uh, hunger doesn't drop very fast, and that could be cause of could 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 be cause could be because of my uh, settings that I have for the game, which is sad because um, I, I jacked them up on purpose so I wouldn't have to constantly keep running back and forth like a moron. Uh, so yeah, what we're gonna do is feed him some stimulant stimulants. Gonna light those. Yes, you are. It's not dropping his hunger though. Oh, his hunger just doesn't want to drop. Like, it, it does anything but. Oh, well, that's. Oh, well, that's dropping faster than I thought it would. I made a mistake. And if he wakes up because of it, I'm stupid. I'm just hoping that other terror bird doesn't show up. It's like, bah, bah, bah. it's like, no, go away. And it's like, I want to eat your shit. But, you know, that just, that doesn't help anyone. At least not of all me. Drop that crap. Let's drop that crap, too. Let's drop that crap. Let's drop that crap. What do I need for this? I have 80 kite and carotene. I need more hide. Which I can get the hide, but... Kite and carotene has been a bitch to get. Now, I mean, theoretically, I could kill this guy for chitin carotene, but I don't want to do that because he's worth his weight in fluffy and gold. Oh, come on, just, just, just get hungry. Just get hungry. It's going so slow. Oh, we have another wild poofers. Look at this guy. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's so cute. I'm going to whistle at you. He's so cute. Look at you. Look at you. Yes, you are. Oh, you're so fuzzy. I love you. I love you, but Come- Oh no, I'm stuck in a rock! Save me! Save me! Don't abandon me! I am your master! Please stay the master! As long as nothing's eaten my other one. Help! I can fly too! Uh, there's actually a simple solution to this. Fuck this rock. I think we're almost there, Darth Vader. Soon I will have a new butterfly. Uh, what was that sound? Oh, oh, hello. Oh, oh hey, how you doing? <laughs> You're very fluffy. I'm gonna jump on your butt. Jump on your butt. No, I love you. Come back. It's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. There he goes, like some majestic bastard. He's coming back. Hello. Oh, oh, you're an oil bug. You're, you're fine. You're just very interesting. Hi. What are you doing? Oh, look at the butt. Look at that butt. So freaking cute. If you needed a reason to get this um, DLC, this is it. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> anyone can ride a wyvern, but only a select few can ride a butterfly. Oh man, you're not looking so good. I don't mind your friend here and just knocking the shit out of him so I can take him home. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> you scared the crap out of me. Hey, he's eating, but not very often. That is not good. We're going to be here a long time. <laughs> oh, this is gonna suck. So the first thing I'm going to do is build defenses around him, because, frankly speaking, um, yeah, it's very easy to lose one of these little fellas, and I don't want to lose him. Uh, it was very hard to track them down. They are, um, very flighty. Unlike the Pterodon, they leave behind the Torpor Cloud as soon as you hit them, so... You happen to be below them, which I tend to do because I'm not the greatest aim with the bolas. Um, they shit on you, and you get slowed to, to hell. It, it literally slows you down like crazy. If you stand in enough of it, you get knocked out. So, thorny, thorny, 
thing over there, and a scorpion. That is lovely. I love to see scorpions. God damn it. The thorny guys are very similar to the scorpion, but I think they're better because they have range, whereas the scorpion doesn't. They also have health, and the scorpion does not. Um, this is good. Okay, so will this actually keep anything out? Probably not. But it's a good attempt. Uh, I mean, anything could happen here. We could have something that's living up there just fall down on top of it. But we could also have stuff from down here in the valley that's hostile come over. And it's very hard to find wood, I should mention, on this map. Or at least in most areas. Uh, I'm not living in the best area for trees. You're only seeing a few trees here um, every so often. And there's fucking wolves. Great. They love eat butterflies. That's what they do. Um, so you're, you're only seeing so many animals and so many trees here and there. There's more wood up here. I should probably go up here and find it. I swear to God if something eats that butterfly. Uh, hey, you know, I'm doing this to myself. This is my own damn fault, because I wanted to drop the uh, hunger ratio, because otherwise you have to constantly feed your fucking animals. And I did that not realizing that it would, in fact, bone me, uh, as they say in, uh, New England, uh, and France, and England, and, uh, every other country in the world. Uh, so, yeah, it's a real share Um, I basically boned myself, um, by trying to make the game a little bit nicer to me, and, yeah. So, word to the wise, don't drop the animal hunger when you're trying to tame. <laughs> Change the settings! <laughs> um, but, at the very least, we do have him taming. It's, this is a this is a guarantee. A question is can I get through this? No, I can't. And it didn't hurt me for some reason. Well that's a fun little fact oh Dar I love this one. Uh, okay. Well at the very least. Alright. Anyway, that's odd that they're not hurting me. But we will not all worry about that right now. We will figure this shit out together. Da, da, da. Um, my biggest concern is really running out of narcotics to put this guy in his place. Now the thing is, we have plenty of berries at our disposal. And yeah, occasionally we can feed him these. But narcotics are the thing I'm gonna have to keep coming back to him for. And every time I leave him, he's in trouble. Um, because that's what happens. So, that is always a concern. I'm trying to balance that. We're gonna take care of this rock because it's in my way. And I could use the sand for more adobe. I, I, I do like the adobe structures. Now, again, if you know me when it comes to game landscapes, I am personally sick of seeing the desert in games. I actually like this because it feels like an epic journey from the past, like you ever see uh, the original um, Scorpion King or even old movies about Egypt and things like that. Um, it reminds me a lot of a few games with a similar genre, but taking it to a survival aspect. It's like you're not in the desert to blow up cars and shit, because that's just boring. You're in the desert to uncover mysteries and explore, and of course tame animals, rare animals, and then there's fucking wyverns, which is just awesome. Uh, so I do like this a lot, and they did a fantastic job with it. Now my one thing, my one thing I really would like is, um, since they've already gone the whole mythology route with this, which I, I love that. I, I predicted that a long time ago. I said, why wouldn't you do a game with a bit of mythology in it? Like, manticores and shit. Well, they have the start of it. They could add, like... If you know what the god Anubis looks like, they could add, like, a, um, a, a werewolf-like creature to the game. 
I, I know, I, I'm always trying to add in supernatural shit to my games, but I think it would actually be um, pretty cool to add a mechanic like that. They've already got the ability to take control of animals, why not become a creature um, during like the night or whatever, and it has a similar uh, mechanic. And it'd be even like a, a thing you could craft to get rid of this curse. So it gives you a, a kind of a miniature quest line. You get cursed by one of these Anubian uh, jackalware things, and you could choose to keep that affliction. Now, I, I guess the, the problem would be is that all your tamed animals go hostile to you, but you're really powerful, so, I mean, you know, you're, you're, you're compensating the ability to use workhorses and animals to become this really powerful monster that can't use weapons or armor and do things. That would be really cool. I would love to see that in this. It's like, you know, maybe there's like a crypt uh, uh, somewhere on the map and these things come out of there at night and they hunt around. They actually like travel across the map. So that would be neat. You'd have a reason to fear the night again for a different reason. Being on an animal would be essential because these creatures would just rip you to shreds and then afflict you. And it would be an affliction that carries past your character's death. Very similar to the uh, the disease that the uh, leeches give you. Which, by the way, I don't know if they're on this map. I wouldn't think so, but... I'm not going to put it... Why did I just do that? Did I just feed... Did I just feed you fucking cherries? I didn't mean to do that. That doesn't actually work. <laughs> Ratch Ock for noobs 101. How do I have 210 stone on me? Well, 211, technically. I seriously can carry a lot of weight. I must have tweaked the settings here. We have an extra pair of cloth gauntlets on me. I'm not sure why they're there. I'm keeping them there because fuck it. We're not doing the stimulant route again because that was just stupid. And uh, this little bee free here is gonna. Or if we actually tame it, we're not calling it Beefree because I already have one called Beefree. We are going to call it something else. Um, oh, I kind of want to name it Butterfuck, but uh, that's just, no. Because uh, it sounds a little odd. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll figure out a name for you if we tame you. Because I mean, there's always that possibility you're going to get yourself killed. And I'm going to be sad. It's not, it's not your fault. I mean, it's me. I knocked you out. But it's also my fault because... I'm an idiot who decides to make your food consumption, like, ridiculous. Now, I could speed this up. I already know that thorny devil, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, not the poop, because he just pooped in front of me. That's one thing. I'm like, duh. Uh, no, his, uh, eggs, the, the kibble is what actually, oh, that's a fucking terror bird. The kibble is what actually makes, um, these guys go faster. Which I think would help, um, to say the least. We don't have enough to make another one of these, unfortunately. Um, the kibble would help, but we don't have the capability of making kibble just yet. Or at least I'm not willing to make kibble. It's a long process, and I also have to, you know, find myself in possession of thorny devil eggs, which would be very easy to do here. But these bastards are very hard to tackle because, again, their ranged uh, torpor is not something you can easily deal with. Um, yeah, they're, they're, I've had a few run-ins with them already playing off-camera, and they are a lot of fun to fight. <laughs> oh, they're, they're just messy. Oh, God, this is a heat wave. Oh, God, this is not good. Oh, we got to get in that water. Oh, we need to get in that water now. The water does nothing, by the way. Did you ever notice that moment when you were fucked and your character's steaming in her pants? Yeah, I'm literally steaming. Look at that shit. Okay, we are heading back to our little friend over there, just on over yonder. Um, this was a hell of a trip to walk. I didn't realize that when I was exploring, but uh, the heat wave has passed, and... It's not something you can easily deal with. Um, I found myself having trouble surviving it. Thankfully, it is not the longest weather effect. I have already encountered a sandstorm. Now, sandstorm weather is pretty interesting. It drains your stamina, like, per second. What the fuck are you doing? 
Okay, hello! <laughs> um, it drains your stamina per second and uh, blinds you. At night, it is literally pitch black. There, there is no way to really describe other than you cannot see until you have a torch or whatever. I love seeing these runes, by the way. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, it's very, 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 very hard to actually see anything when there's a uh, sandstorm. Which is really neat. I like these um, different weather effects. It's just some of them seem impossible to survive, depending on the circumstance. Um, the heat wave was not something I enjoyed seeing. I thought that was a T-Rex for a moment. That is a giant kangaroo. Thank God. Um, this little guy. He's useful to us. You need to, you need to hang in there, okay? Come on. Come on. Eat your, eat your face. We're gonna... Oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> We're gonna check... We're gonna check this thing over here. Uh, the butterflies are really cool. Uh... They are amazing. I love this. You can just... <laughs> and that will add torpor and slow enemies down whenever it hits them. These things can be a little bit overpowered in some respect. If you have enough people riding them early in the game, you can effectively... Uh... We have to attack that ant. There's really nothing we can do. I want this. I will take it. The problem is, is that the second I land, he's gonna attack my, my iron armor. Yeah, see, look at look at them. Look at them. And our butterfly can't exactly uh, defend himself on the ground. Um, I'm tempted to grab it. The thing is, uh, you know what's gonna happen. They're just gonna kill my butterfly. Not my butterfly. Why? Why? That is a bit of balancing, though. It can't really, like, attack or anything. It's just what it is. Hi. I see you. Come closer. Just, just come over here. Just do it. Do it. Do it, Harry. Come on. Come on. That's right. Oh, he's, like, immune to it. Oh, that's great. I know there was one more over there. Hopefully it's gone. Nope, it's not gone. Hello there, little douche. Hi, no. You, you need to follow me this way. This way. This way. Come on. You can do it. Come on. No, it's destroyed. See, the game does that to you on purpose. They put creatures that they know you're not going to want to deal with in your path when it comes to something like that. I could have gotten something so, so good out of that, but it was not to be. The game hates me. We're going to take this opportunity to explore a little bit, because we are waiting. Um... Oh, that's one of the caves. Oh, see, I could have gone in here. Well, okay, it's not one of the caves. This just happens to be a thing that looks like a cave. But, yeah, this probably would have definitely saved my life tonight. Can I... Okay. Why does this be like the most fatal mistake ever? No, it's literally just a thing. Okay. That that probably would have been a good place to hide out from the sun. Um I think if you're in your house, if you're actually like under a layer of roof or whatever, you're better protected. Don't quote me on this. This is what's really fascinating is this is so brand new and they've talked so little about it until now, there's so many things that we don't know about this update. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm speculating things. And I think when it comes to lightning storms, you definitely don't want to wear metal. Maybe I'm adding too much um, physics and mechanics to that, but there's a very big possibility that uh, if you wear metal, you have a better chance of being struck by lightning. Um, in general, I don't think you'd want to be in the air if there's a lightning storm. Uh, that would make sense. Although in reality, uh, lightning doesn't... I mean, there is rogue lightning, but lightning typically won't strike anything that's already in the air unless you happen to be over its path. Um, it's uh, basically because lightning is connected to the ground. 
So it's not trying to shoot you down. There is a particular type of lightning that will jut out and hit like water vapor in the air. But the chances of that actually striking you are very small. And most often, um, that, that kind of strike barely will ever happen to an airplane. The only reason it ever happens to an airplane is if the airplane has been flying through that uh, storm for a good deal of time and something got charged on the plane. In that case, it's not striking the ground, it's striking the plane. But, um, yeah, it's a myth that lightning will blow up an airplane too much. But, yeah, it's just... In this, we're not an airplane, we're a giant butterfly. And butterflies, I don't think, are made of metal. <laughs> but it wouldn't matter because it's a video game! By the way, you look very handsome with that, uh, that saddle. Why aren't these real? Like, <laughs> can't these be a real thing right now? Can you imagine? It's like, I'm going to school! And you take a giant fucking butterfly with you. And you can just bring him in the back of the school and just feed him, you know, bread. Yeah, look at him. Look how cute he is. I just realized, he's a mare and free mare. You're gonna make little butterfly babies. I actually don't know if you can breed them. I wouldn't think so because, I mean, it's, is there an egg for them? Is there a thing to do that? Maybe? I don't know, maybe they surprised us. I mean, there's a lot of work that went into this, so I don't know. Um, I really should make more narcotics, so what we're gonna do is quickly head back and make some more. Hello, you fucking wolf. Yeah! <laughs> How do you enjoy that? <laughs> There's not a goddamn thing you can do about it. <laughs> okay. Well, I have left my little base there. And I have a few more narcotics under my belt. A few more making. It's a long, but I think a fruitful little venture to get another moth. Uh... Again, this this is basically the pterodon of the game, so getting to the point where you can actually tame one is a long and arduous process. But thankfully, hey, there's another one. Hey, the buddy. Uh, thankfully, you know, the bola makes the game so much easier. In, in many ways, it does break the game, but I can see why they added it. I can see why they added it. Um, it makes ground combat very risky. I mean, you don't you don't want to be hit with Ebola in combat. At the same time, riding one of these little fellas, you can be brought down, and that's kind of the point, because otherwise you have a supreme advantage over somebody on the ground. If you're trying to attack somebody and you're harrying them, and they get out of your sight for a second, why are you attacking the ridiculous? Fuck you! <laughs> I like how he kicks his little legs up. He's like, wee! <laughs> um... But yeah, if you're like attacking someone constantly from the sky, and then you lose sight of them for a second, they can bring down, you know, bring you down with a bolo. I mean, this is something that they will do. And you know, if you don't have the, the foresight to dodge it, or you know, in general, it's just unlucky for you, you're going down. And from there, they can murder you. Or they have a much more fair chance. Ultimately, Ark is imbalanced. Because people will, um, you know, if they have animals, they're going to kill you. They're going to, uh, oh, I didn't mean to whistle you. I was taking a picture. Oh, ah, God, I'm whistling everywhere. Just whistling. Um, but yeah, it's imbalanced only because if you join a server, most people already have animals. It's one of the reasons I've stayed away from playing this game in a massive multiplayer aspect. And I'd love to. I really would. Don't get me wrong. I would love to join a huge server but the amount of time and effort you spend on these animals, I mean, this alone is taking me literal hours. And I have the settings jacked up for single player. I don't know how to configure the INI file. Um, that I don't even know where it is, to be honest. Uh, so I don't actually know how to fix this conundrum. I'm using uh, the, you know, I, I'm actually running this off my computer by itself. And... I don't have any other options of the ones that it gives me. The ones it gives me are limited. It said, you know, animal taming speed, three points, and that's the highest it can go. So, what the hell am I doing? It, look at him, he is barely tamed. And I'm tempted to just, you know, 
force tame it. I might end up doing that. I mean, for the sake of this video, I think I have achieved actually, uh, you know, getting this guy tamed. Nothing's over here. You know, everything that's everything that's a threat is down there. And this animal is. Well, that's not good to. S that's really not good to see. Well, they're pursuing that shit. Um. No! 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 He ate it! You unbelievable bastard! No! Come back! Fly, you motherfucker! Well. I should have been paying attention. I should have been paying attention. I. should have been paying attention. I should have been paying attention. I I really really should have. That's um that's what happens. That's that's the game in a nutshell. Um fuck. I'm actually pretty upset about that. I was just explaining how I had this animal tamed and the game decides no, you don't. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Sorry. Um so yeah, I mean, at least we have the choke point sealed off, so in the future we have a safe haven. Um, but damn, I spent an hour, and I would have been spending more on that. Well, shit. Um, yeah, that's Ark. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end this episode here, and that's how you tame uh, the moth. That's, that's how you try to tame it. It's rather unfortunate, because... You can try so much, and that's what happens. It's The game is punishing. Um, it, it's because of bad AI and things like that. That cat was on the ridge above me. It had to have been. I want to seriously believe that it was, because there's always that thing that happens where the game decides to spawn them in to make things interesting, which isn't fair because of how fast they attack. And that butterfly was already a one-shot. It was basically a one-shot, so... He just had to come over and bite its ass open and rip out its innards. It's just disappointing. It's just, it's just, I, I can't state it enough how sad I am. <laughs> so, um, I will be taming another definitely off camera. Um, because fuck that. And, uh, yeah, that's a T-Rex. It's good to know you're over here and not anywhere near me. My god. Yeah, they, they do exist in the game. I don't know if the Spino exists in this. I would love it if it did, because this is typically where it would have lived. Um, well, not not like the desert, but it would it would live in oasis. It would oases. It lived in arid, uh, you know, riverbanks and things like that. And it would, you know, hunt fish and spend its entire life in the water. So I'd love to see a Spino here, but. At the same time, it's nice to not see it, because it, it's a bitch. Um, thank you all so much for watching. And if you like this, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, see you in the next adventure. Bye.